Hey guys, and welcome to Upfront Games Week whatever. Anyway, <laughs> here we are, and uh, so this week we got really uh, a, a slim slice of news because not a whole lot going on this week. However, um, we did pick some uh, pretty good interesting articles uh, from each, so we'll definitely dive into that. But let's, as always, get started with PlayStation's trailer for the week, Lovecraft's Untold Stories. Check it out. So that was Lovecraft's Untold Stories, and we had to pull a Steam trailer because they hadn't created a PS4 trailer. Who knows why? They just didn't. So, <laughs> um, but anyway, trailers uh, the same concept for the game. It's just being ported from Steam. That'll release uh, the tenth, which is five days from now. So you'll see that Friday. Um, PlayStation Plus May includes Overcooked and What Remains of Edith Finch. Uh, these will be available Tuesday the 7th. And um, I'm kind of interested in downloading Overcooked just because it's like a, a little um, time management multiplayer game. So we'll see um, what's up with that. The What Remains of Edith, fin Edith Finch, I've heard of it. Uh, never got into it when it first came out, and I don't think I'll get into it this time. However, if that's something that you were looking for or waiting for it to go free before you got it and you're a PlayStation Plus member, well, then, hey, you can go get it this Tuesday and play through it. Uh, Rage 2 has gone gold. It includes PS4 Pro enhancements, and that arrives May 14th. The only enhancement that was really in the article, though, is that on PS4 Pro, it'll be 60 frames per second. So that's your enhancement. Um, whereas, I guess, it being ported on uh, standard PS4, that won't be the case. So anyway, uh, there you have it. That is it for PlayStation. Like I said, pretty slim week. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump into Xbox. Uh, Xbox's trailer for the week is For the King, so check this out. So that was For the King, uh, pretty interesting over-the-top role-playing game. Um, so check that out if you want to get into that. That also comes out on the 10th, so you'll see that on Friday. Um, Microsoft and the VA are bringing uh, Xbox adaptive controllers to veterans with limited mobility. Uh, they'll be at 22 VA centers across the U.S. to start. 
and this is allowing for disabled vets to play games um, that they may not be able to play due to their injuries. So I think that's really cool uh, of Microsoft and of the US VA centers uh, to implement this and allow for those that have been injured in combat to uh, to still play video games because we all love them and you know it's it's close to my heart because you know I've been deployed and seeing like how people can still get into uh, games and a pastime that we we used to love to get us away from everything um, oh well we still love so um, it's really cool that they're doing this and I think that it's a great benefit to those that are in these situations thankfully uh, this isn't something that I've had to deal with but I have had friends who have so um, this is huge and you know big ups to Microsoft for making this happen uh, for disabled vets across the country so uh, just a little piece of feel-good news for the week um, but let's move on. Games for Gold includes Marooners, The Golf Club 2, Earth Defense Force, Insect Armageddon, and Comic Jumper. So if you're looking for any of those, Games for Gold will have them uh, this week. Um, all right. Like I said, guys, short week. Um, let's move into Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo's trailer for the week, Saints Row the Third. I know it's an older game for PlayStation and Xbox. Um, but it is the complete the complete series for the game and it releases on the 10th as well so uh, let's dive into the trailer Peggy 18 Lita 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 L E A D E R Let's go Super excellent King of the free world, leader of this whole thing. That's how I feel when I'm running with my whole chain. We used to shake them dice in the crap game. I'm still not afraid to fight. I am a leader. We have guns. Let's use them. Brands worth a shitload of money. Booty moves! Oh my god, can I just shoot this guy? that was Saints Row the third uh, again it's still a great game I played it on PlayStation when it first came out um, that comes out Friday uh, so go ahead and grab that if you are on the switch and we're waiting to play this game um, survival horror game Darkwood is coming to switch May 16th which kind of surprises me a little bit um, just because it's Nintendo and Nintendo's kind of always been the the family friendly um, console, but then again, I just did a trailer on Saints Row the Third, so um, maybe they're upgrading a little bit. Um, but no, anyway, uh, it looks good. It's it's being ported over from Steam, and uh, I don't know it doesn't really live up to the or at least it doesn't look like it lives up to uh, the likes of Silent Hill or anything like that however it does look like, like it's a good concept and I wish I could speak today damn um okay and Platinum Games says Bayonetta 3 is to see a change in design process based on creating the first two games now here's the kicker to that also in the article it said they are already halfway through uh creation so they're going to change the process mid-design uh so that's a little scary but we'll see what they do with it um they've done well with bayonetta one and two um so we'll just have to see uh what they do with bayonetta three uh anyway that's it guys 
for real. It's a short week. Um, but as always, like, subscribe, comment, and we'll see you next week for hopefully more news as we get closer to E3. So uh, you guys have a good one, and we will see you next week here at Upfront Games. Bye, guys.